many people in, I think, in Farmersville and also outside the city look upon us as a, a group of people that are fighting and arguing and uh, controversy. And I don't think this is true. I think we're one of the last uh, outposts, really, where everybody has something to say. Uh, if it's uh, at a council meeting or a uh, school board meeting about anything. We're, another thing, I think we're rugged individualists. Uh, and I don't find that uh, we are interesting and we're in the papers a lot, which uh, many people think is uh, oh, bad publicity. But we're in the papers, I think, because we are interesting, because we're getting somewhere, because we're different. You don't have apathetic people here who just sit back and say, let the consul take care of everything. I do believe if consul would get a little less um, constant criticism, we would have more men willing to serve because uh, this can be uh, hard on their business, it can be hard on their family, and uh, all of us have a certain amount of ego, and we can be run down just so long before we give up. So I think that uh, uh, this has discouraged uh, many men from running for, for consul, and men that would be good, because they just don't feel they can take this. And uh, as I say, some of the men who have resigned have not really resigned because uh, they disagreed. It was just, uh, it was all they could take. I think we're a little self-conscious, though, really. Uh, in, in running around, I find people, oh, say, in Exeter, or I say, I meet, are not looking down on us. I would say, uh, in a sense, they envy us uh, because we are doing these things. I believe uh, we are in the paper more and are on TV more. And, uh, for instance, we've had, uh, I think, three referendum elections, which is unusual. And although many of us uh, don't like this, uh, still, again, this shows that the people of Farmersville are really, uh, we're really very democratic when we can get a petition together and call for an election and everybody vote and everybody gets involved. Again, I say this is better than apathy. Have you ever had a woman on the council? No, they haven't. Women uh, do not participate here in government. There's never been one on the school board, to, at least since I've been here, or to my knowledge, or on the council. Uh, most of the things, in fact, uh, the chamber too, I think board of directors, uh, with a few exceptions. I served one year on the board of directors of the chamber. But most of the, we're, we're a little old fashioned. I, I don't think women are really accepted yet. But in the main, I think that they keep out. I think they have their own opinions that they express to one another. Of course, once in a while you will hear women say, I don't think we could do any worse than the men. And this is possibly <laughs> uh, true. Have you any uh, feeling about whether the ability to speak English on the part of the Mexican-American women or the ability to speak Spanish on the part of the Anglo women has any uh, retarding effect on? Well, of course it does. It does. I think this takes time. Uh, I think. Uh, perhaps the women that are active in uh, in PTA and helpful to in other matters with the school you know there we have room mothers and things of that sort are probably <clears throat> women who have lived here a good many years and have a good command of the language and I think it will take time because uh, it is true I in Farmersville I don't think many of us uh, speak Spanish and uh, so this this is true. It's a problem. Of course, some we do have through self-help. We've got quite a few new uh, Mexican-American people here, and they're like any newcomers. They're not yet involved within the city, but I think they'll, they will be. Uh, and uh, this is true even with... Uh, we, we had one gentleman who was on the council, Mexican-American. He was on the planning commission. We have a school board member. We have teachers that are, uh, can speak the language. So, uh, I don't.
don't really feel that on the part of most people there really is any uh, great feeling. I think we're all just people, and uh, I, d I don't think race is, is, has, so far at least, entered into it very much. A farmer's role was unique in supporting self-help. This is another, I think, example of uh, uh, the fact that there isn't a racial thing here, because uh, they went out of their way, and so did the Chamber of Commerce, to support this and to help these people, and uh, they spoke to them all about building codes, and every facility of the city was open to them. And uh, so I don't, I think, uh, frankly, the people, everybody has become a little more aware of this since Community Action Agency came in here. Uh, they, uh, in fact, I think we're all getting uh, getting a little tired of using words such as Anglo, uh, uh, power structure, uh, Mexican-American. I think we look upon... Uh, there aren't uh, social distinctions in Farmersville. We're all on a level. Uh, it doesn't uh, really make much difference what your income is, what kind of a house you live in, or what kind of a car you drive. I think we're, we're very uh, much on the same level, and I think we're that way with, with Mexican-American people. Could you give me a woman's point of view on youth in this town? Well, of course, uh, I, do you mean teenagers? Well, youth generally. Mm -hmm. I think that the children in elementary school are pretty well provided for in uh, uh, activities, I would say. We, we have a, a marvelous summer school program here. We have Little League, Boy Scouts, uh, Girl Scouts, Cub Scouts, this type of thing. The teenagers do not have a lot to do. In fact, uh, they don't really have, they really have nothing to do. I know there's been a lot of uh, talk about uh, the GTOs, which, as you know, have recently formed a teenagers organization. And I think they, their uh, goal is to get a youth center. I've attended many of their meetings, and uh, I'm impressed with what they've done. And I think in time they'll accomplish something. Do they get together, that is, both ethnic groups and... Not in... Well, they haven't in GTOs, no. This is mainly uh, the Mexican-American children, although it is, it is open to all who, who want to participate. And I believe that if they, uh, in time, uh, you probably will find other children uh, joining this group. Uh, it is difficult, and I think uh, uh, possibly they feel uh, because the GTOs are Mexican-American, that people are being uh, discriminating against their group, where they wouldn't be this way if, if say, they were uh, Anglos, let's put it this way.